This is the future. In the latest dev stream, Digital Extremes said that they'll finally rework two Warframes that are considered mastery rank fodder by some. Grendel will be getting a rework, and the waifu Warframe, Yareli will be getting minor tweaks to make her more appealing to the crowd. But there are some players against this, as they think other Warframes are deserving of a rework compared to these two. Honestly, I think they are right but, I don't like the idea of reworking those other Warframes first, since I think both Grendel and the waifu Warframe deserve to be the first, and they are much easier to tweak since they are good on paper, but the application of their abilities in real mission should be fixed. Now, I agree that Hydroid deserves a proper rework, but it doesn't mean that it should be rushed. People think that Grendel and the waifu Warframe should be reworked next, after Digital Extremes rework those Warframes that need a proper rework but the problem is, it won't happen mostly because those two need minor changes compared to Hydroid. Grendel only needs some energy economy on his abilities, plus some quality of life changes that will make his abilities synergy with each other. Like I have said in my previous Grendel video, some sort of a hunger meter or volatile meter that acts as a catalyst to make his skills work together. Then Grendel could be a fun Warframe after this minor addition to the frame. Honestly, Grendel's kit can potentially be good in a real mission, and all Digital Extremes needs to do is make it work in a real mission. By the way, I'm not talking about Feast being changed and allowing it to consume all enemies inside Grendel's belly. A good example would be his fourth ability. If Digital Extremes would somehow give scaling damage to this ability when it grows in size, then we could have something good. Also, his regurgitate is like spitting into enemies, when it should be throwing up those volatile salivae and damaging the enemies. I'm sensing that Grendel can be a great Warframe if only they buff the power of his abilities, and then make it combo with each other. In the case of the Waifu Warframe, in my opinion, the Warframe already has good abilities but is not implemented well. Her Aqua Blades are pretty good with the Augment, Marulino is a solid damage reduction ability but it is very limited since it doesn't work in some instances or to give a specific example, it cancels on operator interaction. And lastly, her 4 is a good crowd control ability but it didn't last long enough to control crowds. On the other side of the coin, there are Warframes like Hydroid that needs a proper and extensive rework in my opinion. We all know that they have done a rework already on this Warframe, but it fails to impress. The idea is there, but it's implemented to the worst wherein the abilities feel like they are competing with each other or, they could have made it into one ability and decided to split it. Okay, let me expand on this. First, I think Digital Extremes should fix the animation of his ability because it does hit all enemies but they don't see it actually happening since it's like big droplets that are missing badly. Also, they should change the status of this ability since right now, Corrosive becomes almost worthless because of all the crazy total defense removal shenanigans that Warframes have in the game. Also, they should merge Tidal Surge and Undertow into a tap and hold mechanic, and make another room for a new ability for Hydroid. And lastly, instead of the flailing mechanic, let the Kraken pull enemies into his mouth and damage them. That way, we could make good use of the farming potential of Hydroid through its augment. To be fair, there are lots of Hydroid enjoyers out there that think Hydroid is fine, but he is becoming obsolete though because most of the old Warframe have this design wherein their abilities seems to progress. It's designed wherein there's a specific progression that is happening to the kit of a Warframe, while the newer Warframe feels like they are more leveled out kits wherein abilities are evenly powerful, or they work together with other abilities. I think it's just right to rework the new Warframes, because they can be easy to level with other new Warframes. The old ones need a comprehensive rework so they can level to the new Warframes but, I just hope that it would not take another year just to see that there are obsolete Warframes in the game right now. Let me know in the comment section below about your thoughts on this video. Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off. <laughs>